Welcome to the Key Stage 3 Geography page. In this video, I will talk you through the Key Stage 3 Geography curriculum. This will give you a flavour of the journey that your child will go on as they study Geography at Key Stage 3. I will outline the sequence and why it is that they study the topics that they do. When students arrive in Year 7, they begin their geographical journey by securing their locational knowledge. This underpins the geographical concepts that pupils will go on to study. It is essential that students are able to confidently locate where places are. Pupils will also develop their understanding of maps and how to use latitude and longitude to locate places. They will explore ordnance survey maps, developing the procedural knowledge that they will need to apply throughout their time studying geography. In the second term, students then study weather and climate. This is the foundation to a number of geographical concepts and will form the basis of their understanding of these concepts in geography. Having previously developed their locational knowledge, students will apply this to help them to explain the weather. We start the topic by exploring Oldham's weather, how its relief and latitude result in high levels of precipitation. We then apply our knowledge to both UK and global extreme weather events. In this unit, students will also develop their disciplinary knowledge. They will conduct a microclimate investigation in the school grounds. This helps to develop their understanding and demonstrate how geographers construct knowledge. In term three, pupils will study the biomes of Africa. This involves exploring the ecosystems at different latitudes. Pupils will learn about the climate, vegetation, living creatures and the rocks and soils. They have previously studied climate, which is the dominant feature in an ecosystem. In this topic, they will explore how climate impacts on the other elements of an ecosystem. As students move into year eight, they will begin the year by examining environmental issues. In the previous topic, they explored the influence of climate on the other elements of the ecosystem. In this topic, they will learn how humans can, in turn, affect the climate. Having explored the impact that humans have on the climate, we then move on to development and population. In this topic, students will examine how countries develop and change over time, and the impacts of this development on population. Pupils will explore the demographics of Oldham before moving on to the study of population in the UK. They will then contrast the UK's population to the world's second most populous country, China, looking at the similarities and differences that the two countries face in the future. Having established how human environments can change over time, we then shift our focus to how the physical landscape changes. In the final two topics in year eight, pupils will explore physical processes associated with the movement of glaciers and rivers and how they are able to shape the landscape. Pupils will be able to use this knowledge to identify, describe and explain the features of our landscape. As we move into year nine, pupils will continue with the theme of changing landscapes by exploring how waves are able to shape the land including the processes and landforms that result. These topics help our students to understand the world around them and why they look the way that they do. Having previously studied population and development in year eight, we then explore how increase in population can lead to conflicts over resources. In this topic, we focus on the Middle East. The conflicts studied with will link to previous topics such as locational knowledge and weather and climate, as these elements affect the resources available in this region and the struggles to control them. Finally, pupils will consolidate their understanding of development and population by studying two cities in depth. They will study Manchester, a city uh, that is in a high income country, and Rio de Janeiro, a city in a newly emerging economy. Through these examples, we will explore how population change impacts on the city and people and its capacity for development. And that is the Key Stage 3 curriculum. We hope that your child enjoys the journey.
Welcome to the Key Stage 4 Geography page. In this video, I will talk you through the Key Stage 4 Geography curriculum. At Key Stage 4, students follow the AQA Geography specification. As part of this specification, our students will sit three examinations. Paper 1, Living with the Physical Environment. Paper 2, The Challenges of the Human Environment. And Paper 3, Geographical Applications. Paper 1 is divided into three sections. Section A focuses on natural hazards. Our students will learn about tectonic hazards such as earthquakes and volcanoes. They will then learn about weather hazards, including extreme weather events in the UK, as well as tropical storms such as Typhoon Haim. They will also look in greater depth at climate change, exploring the evidence for it, the natural causes as well as the human causes, and how we can adapt to and mitigate against it in the future. In section B, students will develop an understanding of ecosystems in greater depth. They will focus on the tropical rainforests in South America, including the opportunities and challenges that these provide. They will also explore how this resource can be managed in a sustainable way. They will go on to apply these themes to cold environments when we study Alaska. Section C of Paper 1 focuses on the UK physical landscapes. Our students will explore the processes and landforms developed on different types of coastline, as well as how and why coastal areas are protected. When studying rivers, students will explore how the river changes along the long profile, from source to mouth. They will develop their knowledge on the processes taking place at each stage and the landforms created. Students will also learn about how and why areas are protected from flooding. Paper 2 is also divided into three sections. In section A, students will learn about urbanisation and contrasting cities. They will learn about the similarities and differences between the cities and the opportunities and challenges that they present as well as how these challenges can be managed. In section B, students will learn about two countries at different stages of their development. The UK, a high income country, and Nigeria, a newly emerging economy. Students will look at the context of these countries to help them explain their levels of development. They will learn about the opportunities and challenges faced by both countries as they continue in their development. In section C, students will learn about resource management. They will gain an overview of the issues relating to food, water and energy in the UK before they go on to focus on food as a resource on a global scale. Finally, paper three. Paper three is also split into three sections. Section A relates to the pre-release. Students will receive the pre-release 12 weeks before their exam. This information relates to a topical issue and will draw on synoptic links from the GCSE course. Students will use this information to prepare for their exam and in section A they will be assessed on this information. Often students will need to come to a decision based on the information that they have been provided with. In section B, students will answer questions on unseen fieldwork. They will need to answer questions based on the fieldwork carried out by other people, and this is based on the six geographical strands of inquiry. Finally, in section C, students will answer questions based on their own fieldwork. In year 10 and year 11, students will complete two geographical inquiries. In year 10, they will conduct their physical geographical inquiry by exploring the rate of longshore drift in Fleetwood. In year 11, they will conduct their human geographical inquiry, exploring regeneration in Salford Keys. The Geography GCSE is a challenging but fascinating study of the world in which we live. By the end of Key Stage 4, our students have developed a deeper knowledge and understanding of both the physical and human world and how the two interlink. They also develop their disciplinary knowledge through geographical inquiry 
gaining a valuable insight into how geographers construct and test knowledge, equipping them well to become the geographers of the future.